all pressure. Ooh, oh, oh. Comment below, have you guys ever had a relationship with a wild otter? Oh, what's going on, you city slickers? I'm gonna show you my favorite workout routine. See everyone here in the gym? They all learned how to work out from me. Yeah, that's right, boys. Most dangerous snake on the planet. First thing it tries to do is go and hide. Nice and easy, Alex. Oh, watch it. What's crazy is that there's a friend of mine. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, 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 look who decided to show up and ruin the party, you furry son of a bitch. Why don't you come out here and show your face? Why don't you show your whiskers to the rest of the crowd? Come on, get up on land, and I want you to tell me why you killed my catfish. What, because they're delicious? Is that your excuse? You think you're just gonna come into my house and eat my fish that I've been raising for over a year now that my grandpa gave to me? You think you're just gonna come in here and eat my fish? Come, come out here and say something to my face. You little troll. What are you living under my dock now, bro? What are you doing? Hey. How's it going, Mr. Otter? Actually, you're pretty handsome when I see you up close. Yeah, I'm talking to you, buddy. Oh, look at those teeth. Those look like they can hurt. What are you doing? This is so cool. Wild American River Otter. Right underneath my dock. Right here in front of my house. And right here with Empanada. The swamp dog. He's like, oh me? I just want you to at least, I just want you to at least apologize to Empanada and I for eating the catfish. At least do that. Learn to speak English real quick and apologize. You hear me, Mr. Squeaks? Stop eating my fish and apologize to me. English. Yeah, that's a Dade County dog for you. What are you gonna do about it, Mr. Squeaks? Oh. Oh. But Mr. Squeaks isn't gonna do anything. He's just bluffing. As long as we don't push him and get in the water with him, we should be nice and safe. Comment below. Have you guys ever had a relationship with a wild otter where it comes back and forth to your house like this? What a handsome water mammal. And Pernoda, have a look at this creature right here. Have a look at this furry water weasel. Hey buddy, hey buddy, don't worry, it's just me and a dead county pit bull. How's it going? Look at, he's so full, he's just sunbathing right now. He's like, oh, I ate too much. I am an otter, oh. Yeah, that's a Dade County pit bull. Yeah. What a majestic creature. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, he's talking smack to my pit bull. Wow, look at him in that crystal clear water. That is so cool. You done mucked it up. You ate my red-tailed catfish. Yeah, just take my tilapia. Take it over to your little creek. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh a lot of you beautiful people have been asking me about Ziggy, my beautiful girl. Ziggy, what are you doing? How you doing, baby? Ooh, where are you going? Where are you going, Ziggy? Hold, hold. Good girl. <laughs> Ziggy's becoming a behemoth of a little crocodile. As you can see, she's getting bigger and bigger, and she's not ready for a big outdoor enclosure yet. She still needs to put on about a foot or two before I feel comfortable with the natural elements of birds of prey, raccoons, bobcats. Ziggy, come on, come on. Show everybody what you got. Oh, cool, don't bite that. You got this. Oh, oh, good girl. Some delicioso rats for my girl. How are you doing, my sweet Ziggy? Your eyes are as beautiful as the sea. I get lost in them, just like uh, pirates. Anyways, okay, so little Ziggy, how about I give you a nice treat? Little baby bird, beep, beep, beep. Ziggy, come on, come on, Ziggy, come on. Ooh, I could just tickle you on your nose. Come on, ooh, ooh, the jaw pressure in her little mouth. Oh, ho, ho, 
Oh, insane to think that this is gonna be a modern day Mosasaur one day. I mean, literally like 12 plus feet long. Females can actually get pretty big compared to a lot of other female species of croc. Usually the males are way bigger, which is true with the American crocs, but female American crocs can get well over 12, 13 feet long. Massive reptiles. Let's feed the Cougars Dwarf Cayman, the world's smallest crocodilian. I also have my wild caught spectacle Cayman in here, but he's super shy, especially when feeding. Come on, you want this? Come on, you want this? A little jump? Good, nice and sweet. Beautiful cougar dwarf caiman, which I believe is a female, according to Justin Brown, the one who gave me this caiman. So we'll be able to pair her up when she's big enough with Fred, the big cougar dwarf that's alone right now. Come on, come on, a little bit of effort. Oh, a little bit of effort, just like a little T Rex. Look how fat that little head is. Come on, you're gonna be nice and big for your new lover, Fred. Oh, babe. Oh, there you go. There you go. Nice big meal for the world's smallest crocodilian. Holy smokes, I just wanna, let me kiss you. No, not a good idea, but how about another rat? Good girl. All right, you giant turkey, it's time to see the world's biggest reptile that's not so big right now because he's just a little baby. Let's have a look at Anakin, the saltwater crocodile, straight from Australia, the land down under. I'm up top here in America. Look at me. Well, we are gonna go to the down under. I don't know what I'm saying half the time. Empanada! Empanada, come in! I didn't trust Ziggy jumping out, but uh, Empanada wanted to see the crocodiles too. How you doing, Empanada? She's still a little spooked because, what can I say, I'm a very loud person. And she's used to being alone in the swamp. Empanada, come here! Come here to my swamp babies! Kiss me! Kiss me! Kiss me, empanada. Kiss me, empanada. Come here, kiss me. Ah, little empanada. Mm, mm, mm. Look at this. Look at her belly scars. I was thinking she just got attacked by a dog on the neck, but the way the scars are around her chest, it looks like jaws came from above and below, like a big croc's mouth. No way a dog came around and bit her like that. I think she escaped the jaws of a crocodile. Look at that scar right there. How crazy is that? Huge gash. Somebody stole my kidney. I was out in Mexico partying in Cancun. Have a look at this empanada. A little saltwater crocodile. <laughs> look at this beautiful golden dragon. Ay, Dios mio. You are the most beautiful thing I've ever seen with my own two eyes today. Wow, look at that. Beautiful male saltwater crocodile. Looking gold as can be. Such a cool looking reptile. My favorite animal on the planet. Next to empanada, isn't that right, empanada? Look, look, look. It's what you were avoiding in the swamps, a crocodile. Okay. I love Anakin. You can see he's getting big and beautiful, looking as gold as the sun. Let's put him back in his enclosure. Let him be, eat those pinkies I just put in there. And I'll lock this and I'll secure it because all we care about is acid containment. How about we visit my old friend, Bridget? Huh, empanada? How about we visit Bridget? Look at you, you beautiful, cranky lizard. Oh. Yeah. Bridget the Broad Snout came. What a, what a good lizard. Look at this. Woo -hoo -hoo. You, you are getting huge. You almost look like a black caiman with your pigment. Look at that. Bridget the Broad Snout came in. It is a thick missile. Look at it. Look at the tail. Oh, fat base on that tail. Good indicator of a healthy crocodilian with lots of fat reserves. And Panada, check it out. Look, look. Coco Drillo, Cayman, Cayman. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, you remember them from the swamp. She's like a little Tommy gun. Da, 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 da. Like when I first got her, she was a quarter the size of that tail. It is incredible to see her grow so much. That's the best part about raising animals, seeing them grow up from little beans. All right, please don't bite my thumb off. Good girl. All right. And Panada and I are gonna go enjoy some AC, and then we're gonna go take care of the Mombas. this next segment, I'm gonna show you how I get jacked in the gym. No steroids included! For losers! Oh, natural, baby! I just eat chicken! Chicken and fish and coffee every day! Pre-workout, you can suck my left nut. Pre-workout, you might as well be cocaine, because I don't want you. Mm, just natural herbs with my meat, mm-hmm. Ah. Stop! <laughs> 
What's going on, you city slickers? I'm gonna show you my favorite workout routine. See everyone here in the gym? They all learned how to work out from me. Yeah, that's right, boys. Here's another quick lesson. You go straight to the 95s. You go to the heaviest weights around. Oh, not fake weights. Oh, I'm not Bradley Martin. Come on. You grab the heaviest weights around. You don't, no stretching. No stretching required. You go down. Oh, come get a shot of my pecs. And then you press at them. Oh, just like that. It's nothing. It's just a quick workout. A quick little. This is my stretch. What do you guys do to stretch? Ooh, how do you like that? Come, come get my side. Look at that. Oh, genetics. All these people in the gym, when I first met all of them, they were puny little pedestrians. And then they met me and now they're all looking like Greek gods. You're welcome. Continue working out. Let's start off with a quick little warm up. Little 100 pound dungies right here. Just a little bit. Just a little warm up. This is my stretch, right? This is a quick stretch. Oh, okay. The key for moving this kind of weight is simply pretending that, you know, this is a building about to collapse on puppies. Let's save those puppies. Oh, no. Oh, no, there's puppies inside the building. Save the puppies. Oh. The thing is, uh, you gotta eat a lot of meat. <laughs> you gotta wrestle a lot of gators. Yeah, it ain't easy being this jacked. See this guy over here? <laughs> you learned everything from me. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't like to admit it though, but I'm actually, I'm his ex-trainer. <laughs> I let him get bigger than me and feel better. <laughs> oh. Oh. Have a look at this. Oh, wow. You must be dealing with baby gators. Uh, no, I'm dealing with really big gators. See, my ex princess is talking a lot of smash. You just don't forget who trained you. This is good. This one's terrible. Let me just help you out by using it myself. See, you want to keep your arms real straight. Huh? Like this. Like this. And then you get kicked. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's wait. Like okay. Alfred now in the building. Excuse me. Ooh. I challenge you, Urban Ranch Rescue Ben, to a workout way off. Go to the gym. Show us what you do. It's okay. You can have it back. <laughs> All right, Justin. All you got to do is pick up that weight right there. Just pick up that weight. Okay. Don't throw your back out. Okay. Get it up on your knee. Okay. The other way, there you go, there you go. Grab the other way. Come on, what do you need, a spot? Come on, there you go. Come on, yeah. This is my apprentice, you're doing a good job. Spot, spot, come on, come on, come on. All right, we're done, that was a good workout. Let's go drink protein. Okay. Have a look at Kobe Dinkelman, the black marble. He's looking good. What do you guys think? Looking really good after that chest. He's getting big. He's becoming a mature individual. Oh, what's going on, my beautiful people? I just have my special guest from Trinidad. They want a free tour here at Challenge Wild World because they subscribe, they commented, they like, they share, and they got 10 friends to check out the channel and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel so much. You guys have been fans since, what, 2019? 19. 19? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy smokes. So we got a new beautiful boy hanging out, nice and chill, not biting, which is a great sign. And we got Anakin, the saltwater crocodile. You got crocs like this in Trinidad? Nope. Can you no. Well, you know, I was thinking about it. You guys don't have black mamas back home, right? Nope. nope. You can't really enjoy them. You don't really have them at the zoos in Trinidad. So I was thinking, why don't you guys take home Kobe Dinkelman's shed. No way. Full black mama skin <laughs> shed. You can take home, frame no it up. Way. Probably explain to the airport security what it yeah. is and that there's not an actual mom sure. in your suitcase. For sure. And, and you guys can take this home here. I'll drape it over him because he's yes. like, he, he, you already have a bow and he can have a mama bow. Oh, yeah. Look at yeah. that. That is what I'm talking about. If you guys want to win a free tour here at Taylor's Wild World, show your support by like, sharing, subscribing, and also getting 10 of your friends to subscribe to this wonderful channel. That's good, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. Dying a little bit around neck. Oh, you're, you're, you're uh, choking a little bit? Yep. All right. Just, you signed that waiver, right? <laughs> What's that you got right there in the bag? You got a flag in there for me? Oh yeah. Right, Ooh. Welcome to Trinidad and Tobago. I love it. Thank you so much. I, I hope that everyone from around the world, if you come over, bring something from your country, show mm -hmm. show pride from where you come from. I love it. Thank you so much, guys. You're most welcome. What's and this? we are known for our 
cricket. Oh, I love that little bottle opener, little, 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 little cricket, it's a magnet too, thank you magnet. so much. And of course, because you have so many keys. Oh, yeah. oh perfect, I can, I can put my little keys on the keychain with the crocodile, little Coco Drill. So I'll be using all this stuff, I got my flag, I'm representing Trinidad, baby, let's go! And Hi, how's it going? Yeah, hi. let me grab hi, that. Friend. I love coffee and I love <laughs> saying hi to people and I also yes. love mugs. Thank you so I much. Think, I think you You're said right. you love green as well. It has I love greenery. Green. Green. CWO is kind of a theme yeah, out here. Thank you so much for coming all the way from Trinidad. You are most I, welcome. I can't thank you enough. Let's get a big group hug. Maybe point the snake away from the crocodile. Group hug. Oh, <laughs> All right, my beautiful, wonderful people. It's nice and safe in here. The guests are outside the Serpentarium. It's nice and safe. Nothing to worry about, except for Alice and the Black Mamba. We're gonna be taking her out right now. She, she's really hungry, especially now that it's summertime. She eats her food, she digests it. She goes to the bathroom like crazy. You can see there's poop all over the place, which is exactly why we're gonna take her out right now. Hopefully, it's nice and smooth. I typically don't take these mamas that often. But they do have to get handled once in a while, so I can do some cleaning. Look at that. Ooh, she's trying to go for the box. Notice that. Most dangerous snake on the planet. First thing it tries to do is go and hide. They don't want anything to do with us. Mambas might be the most dangerous snakes, but there's snakes at the end of the day, and snakes just want nothing to do with us. Look at that huge, beautiful black mamba. Relax. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo. Nice and easy. Look at her. Woo. She's become such a beast. Since I even got her, she's gotten even bigger. And what's crazy is that there's a friend of mine. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mama mia, spicy pizzeria. I felt those peppers right on my knees. Oh, a little bit of mamba must. Don't worry, it smells like ramen noodles. That's good. So what happened was a buddy of mine actually has a pair of 14 foot long black mambas that need to be rehomed in the next couple months. So we're going to see if those snakes end up coming to challenge wild world. Because literally, the mamba, ooh, ooh, one of the mambas that's coming over here actually bit two people and killed one guy. So, mambas that, ooh, 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 don't corner yourself with the mamba. Let's just redirect her. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Nice and easy right there. Uh -uh. There we go, nice and easy. Come on. Woo! She does not like to get handled. <laughs> I love ramen noodles, but not that kind of ramen noodles. All right, let's get cleaned up. Take a deep breath, drink some water, and clean up these spicy meatballs. I will see you in a split. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh. You see the pro. <laughs> Cage is clean. Come close. Not too close. A little bit closer. A little more. That's good. Let's go well. She's a little bit on edge today. And we don't want a cranky black mamba, especially. Since they're the most dangerous snake on the planet, not because of venom drop or drop, but simply because of their athleticism. Holy smokes. Nice and easy, Allison. Oh, watch out. Right there, right there into the enclosure. Nice and easy, nice and easy, Allison. Right home, there you go, right inside your enclosure. Nice and easy, Allison, nice and easy. Right back inside. Holy smokes, she is on fire today. Mamma mia, that spicy ramen soup. Ooh, let's get a lock on this. Locked and secure all right my beautiful people i got one thing to say i got two things i maybe have three things to say finish wiping your butt so i can finish what i'm saying i need you to get 10 of your friends to come over to the chandler's wildlife youtube channel subscribe i want you all to like share comment and make sure you do this because you can win a free tour here at chandler's wild world you could smell ramen noodles with me. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe, and most of all, follow your dreams. Do what makes you happy in life. Because at the end of the day, that's all that matters. I might be knuckle deep in poo every day of my life, but I love doing it. And that's what makes it not even work at all. Love you guys. See you on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe, and most of all, do what you want to do. See you on the next one.
dude. School of Boku. Look at that. And then we got American River Otter. And then we got Dade County Pitbull. 